we wanted to create the place where we wanted to work because we all wanted to live in Palestine, but there, was, there wasn't a single place where we could be employees and be happy. Yamsafir is an online booking uh, service. We actually book hotels and apartments uh, all over the world. We are very, very good at it, particularly in the Middle East. We've taken the model and tailored it to better suit the Middle Eastern traveler. There wasn't like a light bulb moment. We decided we want to do this because the market opportunity was, was attractive and largely underserved. With proven business models, it's more about how quickly the team can execute and how well they can execute within a particular setting. The dominant player in the market is Booking.com. They bring in a lot of learning from, from uh, other markets, uh, but we sort of have the hyper-local uh, angle. We've innovated a lot around payments, so you can book without a credit card. The Middle East is largely unbanked. We've done a lot of uh, innovation around a mobile product, and uh, you know the Middle East is, has the highest uh, penetration rate of, of smartphones. Finally, we're bringing a lot of hotels online for the first time and also working a lot on the content of these properties to make it available in Arabic. We look at the entire journey from, you know, when you start planning your trip to when you enter your room and when you check out of it. There's still a lot of friction. You stand at the reception desk, you do a bunch of things. Uh, so we're trying to remove a lot of that. And I think by the time that we do, we are going to be able to build a model that's potentially competitive outside of the region. There's an abundance of Palestinians in the diaspora that are doing very interesting things in tech. We're bringing a lot of people back. That, I think, just creates wonders.